I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is actually the first time I'm touching this piano. It just came in not too long ago. We're going to be starting on it. And so this is our, this is our before video to uh, kind of document the condition that it's in. Based on this, this carving, this, this piano is almost certainly about 1890 or so, give or take 10-ish years. Um, so, and, and also based on a lot of the designs, these legs, there were, there were companies at this time that were doing nothing but piano legs, which, is, which I think is really interesting. They were doing specialization you know, to that extent. They weren't doing legs for tables and chairs and they weren't doing pianos. They were just doing legs for pianos. And you can see when it's that ornate and beautiful that it would take a, a whole specialty company to do that. And that's, and that's something, frankly, that, uh, that pianos haven't seen in over 100 years. And actually, since we're talking about that, check out, check out some of these pianos. There's, a, there's a, another very intricate, beautiful, uh, what is that, octagonal, I think. That's an octagonal leg, Promberger. And then the one next to it is a Chrisman. Again, very pretty legs. And... We probably have a few others. Anyway, they're they're all over. So kind of cool. So let's get let's get a shot of of all of this. This is pretty typical on on uh, 120, 140 years, something like that. All that massive damage. I don't think signs of abuse, but but it's still in very, very poor condition. I think simply because of age, stuff like this. Somebody drew, started to maybe draw their name and then their mom caught them. Let's get a shot of those petals as well. Those petals are gonna be totally, totally transformed. They'll be the same petals, same physical petals, but we'll replate them. And we, we have an in-house plating lab. It's all chemistry. And, uh, and they are looking, these petals that we've been doing in the lab are incredible. I think they're the best, the best plating. And I, I say that truly, truly unbiased. They're incredible. Let's check out the keys. Keys are actually, I was expecting worse. They're not great. They're probably a, I don't know, C condition, but, but I was expecting far worse. They're very yellowed and dirty, dirty and chipped. Camp and Company, Chicago and St. Louis. Okay, let's listen to it. Ooh. That is rough. Broken key. Bunch of broken keys here. Loss of tone, another kind of sluggish key, not really functioning correctly. Massive loss of tone everywhere, but especially in that bass. Those are original bass strings for sure. Don't sound that bad. Got major repetition problems. This action is terrible. Sometimes it works, kind of. Oh, that one even sticks. Oh, that is just really rough.
It has actually, uh, I mean, it sounds terrible, but it has actually a pretty nice projection up there at the top, nicer than most. So that gives me some really good hope on how this piano is going to sound after the full rebuild. We're going to be totally redoing everything. Fortunately, we're doing the uh, plate and the soundboard and bridges and, and hammers and dampers and strings, tuning pins, keys, all the action, all of this. And we've got, yeah, we'll put new hammer butts on there. Uh, we've got rocker cap stands, which, which are a pain to deal with. We might change those out. I'm not sure. These are the rocker cap stands right here. And that's, that's a kind of typical 19th century thing. So we might just take those out and put, put normal cap stands on there. Wonder if there's some water damage, maybe that's kind of, uh, that's this, this kind of sluggishness of all of these hammers is characteristic of severe water damage. Hmm. Interesting. That's not normal, of course, for the, well, both that, that hammer to be enormous for the last one and also for this much play, of course. And it looks like they actually switched, I don't know why, they switched this hammer with that one. That's strange. And so that's, that's why that one sounds so bright next to its neighbors. Looks like somebody had a very creative solution, just tied a piece of string on the to the, from the catcher to the bridle wire. Check this out right there. That'll be replated and looking like brand new. Okay, so we've got some pretty severe cracks. We'll repair all of that. And got lots of pretty severe cracks on the bridges. Those will all be redone. Yeah, these, these cracks on the soundboard. And this uh, the soundboard is pretty unusual the way it is perfectly horizontal. Usually it's it's diagonal in orientation came across a really unusual soundboard the other day that these boards weren't continuous. They were glued in the middle. And this is unusual as well. And of course very dirty, but that's that's pretty normal. Anyway, so that's the uh, before video and what a transformation this is going to be.